When I was chatting to Wheel Home boss Stephen Wheeler the other day, he ended our conversation by saying, I don't do normal. Blimey, he's not kidding, is he? This is his latest creation, the tiny two berth dash away. And in caravanning terms, it's about as far away from normal as you can imagine, as we're about to find out. The Dashaway starts off life as a specially commissioned commercial uh, trailer made of uh, fibreglass and then the, uh, the bespoke panels are uh, added later. It's all very cleverly done, there's a lot of really intense engineering gone into this one. This is uh, called the Podrant and this operates by means of a push button inside, it's all electric and so too is the elevating roof. It all feels delightfully sturdy. Indoors, the, uh, the joinery, which is uh, all uh, designed and uh, built in-house. Again, it's all done very cleverly and there's lots of little clever things that slide off and slide into place somewhere else and they all fit like a, a glove. There's really uh, nothing to uh, decry the caravan about at all. It's a sobering thought, isn't it, that in just a little over 20 years' time, you won't be able to buy a new petrol or diesel engined car because every new vehicle will need to have zero emissions. And that's one of the main reasons why the Dashaway exists in the first place. It's designed to be uh, future-proofed in the years leading up to the end when there'll be an increasing number of uh, hybrid and fully electric vehicles on the road. Many of them, of course, don't have very high towing limits. And that's where this thing comes in. With a mile of uh, just over 680 kilograms, it can be towed by just about anything on the road. And because of the, uh, the solar panels that come as standard equipment, there's little or no drain on the car battery when you're under tow. And look at how wide it is. You don't even need towing mirrors. No stabiliser is standard because that would just add unnecessary weight, it's really not needed. You do, however, get a, a standard fit motorised mover, the idea being that you can back it into a tight garage or uh, round the corner of your house at ease. So towing, it's going to be dead easy regardless of what you tow it with. There's no getting away from it, it's a very small space of course and there's only so much that uh, clever engineering and design can uh, get you. Having said that, the seating is really nice and comfortable, it looks attractive as well and there's all sorts of things you can do with the tables that have them to your side or at meal times in front of you. On a dull day like today, it's not the brightest environment. You do have a little window here to the side of the seating and a tiny one by the kitchen at front. Plenty of uh, clever storage, including behind me, there's a wardrobe space. And uh, I do uh, like the clever touch of the, uh, the, the laundry chute and the waste paper bin, which are built into the front of the kitchen and exit into the bags via the locker at the front of the caravan. Two main sockets uh, on board, which uh, will work either via the inboard inverter or you can hook up to the sites on main supply in the, in the usual way. Believe it or not, even a space as small as this does give you an option when it comes to um, making up the, uh, the bed at night. This is the first and the, probably the most widely used option. It's the double bed, which takes literally seconds to make up. I'm sitting here on the backrest, which simply lifts out and slots into place securely here with a little uh, pull-out supporting platform underneath where I'm sitting. And it results in a big, plush, comfy double bed that's six and a half feet long. The other option is to make up a single bed simply by uh, pulling out the main part of the squab here until the backrest drops into place behind it. The benefit there being that you get a little bit more floor space when that's in place. But whichever option you choose, both beds are really comfy. Well, I have to say, I think this is the first time I've ever been in a caravan that can boast uh, an induction hob. I mean, it is just one ring, but that's probably enough for most folks to get by on. And it's backed up by a compact microwave oven and underneath a conventional mini oven and grill. There are a pair of shelves that uh, sit here when you're in transit, and they just simply slide out of their runners like this. 
and become your uh, tables when you're sitting at the sofa. And uh, you can see here now that there's the decent sized sink with a drainer and the cold water only system. If you are doing a bit of washing up, you just boil the kettle. And in here is the compressor fridge, which has got a smaller capacity than you usually find in a caravan, but again, enough for a couple to stock up for a few days. Lots of storage too, including in here, where you have just a little um, pull-out cutlery tray and a smaller cupboard in here. And in there lives the compact fan heater, which comes as part of the standard equipment. So it's uh, small, but very nicely formed. The washroom, well, this won't take long. There it is. That's it. Of course, something has to give in, and I think this size you can't expect to have uh, full ensuite facilities. However, you do have this uh, portable loo in case of uh, emergencies, or uh, probably more realistically, um, in the awning. There is a, a bespoke air awning that uh, fits this uh, perfectly, and I would imagine that's where most users will, uh, will, will put this. So it's there if you need it. Lighting wise, again, very straightforward. You have uh, one here by the uh, side of the seating, which uh, also doubles up as a, a reading lamp at uh, night time. You have one above the kitchen and one right on the ceiling. I think maybe for evening ambience, you might want to bring along a small table lamp, which you can plug in. But uh, really all the essential areas are pretty much covered. This is a hard one to, uh, to sum up really. In terms of real estate, it looks very expensive, but you are buying a hand-built caravan using uh, expensive materials that's designed to do a specific job. And I have to say, it does it really, really well.